At first glance, on the left-hand side of the application, you can see a menu with listed sections of the application. Currently, they are all marked with red triangles, but these will disappear after you have completed each mandatory section with correct information. Individual fields within each section also have a red line on the left-hand side. As soon as you enter the required information, the line changes into green. Please bear in mind that applications cannot be submitted until all sections have been marked with a green tick. The first section is Context, and here you must enter your project details, including the project title, acronym if applicable, start date, project duration, and so on. The earliest and latest possible start and end dates of your project are based on the deadlines that you wish to apply for. These can be entered manually or selected using the calendar. Make sure you use the proper date format with hyphens if you enter this manually. So, I enter the 1st of September 2018. Then you must look at the project duration. As I mentioned before, it should be between 3 and 24 months and you must select it from a drop-down menu. The project end date is automatically populated based on the start date and the duration that you entered. Afterwards, you must choose your national agency and the language of your application. Now, on the left-hand side, you can see that the section has become green, which means that all the required information has been entered. The total project duration involves project-related activities, from promotion and recruitment to evaluation and dissemination. It is important to consider a realistic project duration to be able to carry out all activities to a high standard. You are expected to implement project activities by the project end date, before you can report and request any final payments of your grant. Please have this in mind when planning the length of your activities and your project. You should also make sure you have incorporated sufficient time before your activities start to be able to buy economical travel tickets and allow for enough time to prepare the participants. In addition, we also recommend leaving time for preparation and being aware of delays in receiving your contract. This is in light of the fact that if you are awarded funding, the indicative date for signing your contract with the national agency is five months after the deadline. Therefore, remember this when selecting the project start date as the costs for any activities incurred before your contract is signed are at your own risk. Participating organizations. Here you find two subsections, applicant organization and partner organizations. You can add a new partner via the add partner button at the bottom of the screen. The web form creates a new subsection under partner organization the process should be repeated every time you add a new partner organization. To delete them, use the menu on the right-hand side. Now, to enter details of your organization and partners, enter the PIC number in the corresponding field. This automatically populates the organization's legal name from the participant portal. We will exemplify this now. So, you can see, the organization showed up automatically. You can view the organization's details by either selecting the name over here or by clicking the menu button on the right-hand side of the row. So, now you find yourself in the actual organization section. You may notice that a number of fields are grayed out. When you move your mouse over these fields, a little icon appears, showing that you are not allowed to make any changes. If any of this information is incorrect, make sure you update it in the participant portal. If you make any changes during the process of writing your application in the participant portal, you simply refresh your data and the information is updated from the participant portal. At this stage, you need to complete a few sections, profile, associated persons, and background and experience. Remember that in the profile section, you have a question about your organization, asking if you are a public body at regional or national level. If your answer to this question is yes, don't forget that organizational support amounts will be reduced by 50%, as highlighted in the 2018 program guide on page 92. The next section is Associated Persons, where you add details about your legal representative and contact person by clicking the menu button on the corresponding rows. So, you add the details by clicking here or here. The sections for both contact person and legal representative must be completed in full. It is important that details of the legal representative are consistent throughout the application form. 
the Declaration of Honor, Parkner Mandates, and any other supporting documents. If your project is successful, the legal representative will be required to enter your organization into a legally binding commitment to the project, so you must choose someone who is authorized to do so on behalf of your organization. If the legal representative is based at the same address as your organization, you should click the same address as organization button, which pre-populates the section with the same address that you entered in the participant portal. The contact person you add after adding your legal representative will be the first point of contact during the application process and, if the application is successful, during the contracting and delivery of the project. We strongly recommend that the contact person is different from the legal representative and in case of any changes in the details, the national agency must be notified. Underneath, you also have a button which allows you to add additional associated persons. So, you can click the button to add additional associated persons or delete them using the menu. The final subsection, Background and Experience, covers specific information that informs the assessor about your organization's capacity to manage the project and apply for the grant successfully. You need to provide an overview of your organization, including your aims and details of the young people you work with. Describe here how your organization's previous experience in delivering projects or activities has developed your skills and knowledge needed for the activities you propose in this application. You also need to enter information on the key staff involved in the project, including their experience and or qualification. Finally, you are asked to indicate if you have applied or received any grants from any European Union programs in the 12 months preceding this application. If you choose yes, the form automatically creates a new section where you have the EU program, the year, the project identification or contract number, and the name of the applicant or beneficiary. You have the button to add more than one grant, as well as the delete button. Once the information of the applicant organization has been completed, you need to go back to the participant organizations where you can add details of your partners. All partners must be added to the application in the same way. Here are some hints and tips to help you with this first section of the application. A high quality application must be specific in each section providing details on background and experience and naming the key persons delivering the project and their skills. You should emphasize the previous experience of your organization and your partners in delivering projects and activities, as well as the skills and knowledge developed, linking those to the activities you propose in the application. It is worth noting that for Key Action 1, Volunteering Projects, the award criteria that your application is assessed against include appropriate experience to be able to deliver and achieve the project objectives. Explain how the activities fit into the program that you want to deliver. This will help the assessor understand the needs and expertise your organization has and the potential impact. Also make sure you are clear on each partner's work and expertise and why they have been selected. This applies to all partners including smaller organizations. 